What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about parallel lines and planes, perpendicular lines and planes, and skew lines, all right? So let's start with parallel lines up here. So parallel lines are just lines that don't intersect and they're coplanar, or in other words, they're on the same plane, okay? So two lines like this, so line AB and CD, as you can see, they are parallel, right? And when you have two parallel lines, you can also show that by drawing little arrows, little directional arrows on them in the same direction. Okay, so the way we would write that these two lines are parallel is that we would say line AB, right? Line AB is parallel, okay? That's the parallel symbol. And it's parallel to this other line, right? CD. So it's parallel to line CD, like that. Okay, so just like we can have two lines that are parallel, we can also have two planes that are parallel, okay? So here you can see that plane P and plane Q, right? They're different planes. P is higher than Q, or it's above Q, and they are parallel, right? These two planes can extend forever and they will never intersect. Okay, now let's combine the lines and the planes into something like this. Okay, so as you can see, now we have, again, some parallel lines, right? So as you can see, lines of V and W, they're in the same direction, right? These lines will never intersect, and they're also on the same plane, right? They're both on plane P. So these two lines right here are parallel, okay? And you can see the same thing down here, right? These two lines, Y and Z, they're both on this plane Q. So these two are also parallel, all right? Now, is line V parallel to line Y? Well, you might say no, because even though they look parallel, right, these two lines look parallel, you might say they're not because they're not on the same plane, right? And parallel lines have to be on the same plane. But the thing here is we can actually draw these two lines to be on the same plane, okay? So I could introduce a plane like this. Okay, so let's see, yeah, that's about good. Okay, so as you can see, now these two lines are on the same plane, right? There's a way to draw these two lines, V and W, so that they do lie on the same plane. So since there is a way to draw both these lines on the same plane, again, you would say that they are parallel, all right? And same thing with W and Z. Even though it looks like they're on different planes, there is a way to draw them so they do lie on a similar plane, okay? So this exact same plane right here, okay? So if we draw a plane like this, you can see that there is a way to include them both on the same plane. Okay, now let's talk about skew lines. So skew lines don't intersect and they're not coplanar, or in other words, they're not on the same plane. Or again, there's no way to draw a plane that will include both lines, okay? So our, let's look at these two lines right here, V, and why, okay, are these two skew lines? Well, they don't intersect because they're parallel, right? But they are coplanar. Even though it looks like they're not on the same plane, again, there is a way to draw them on a plane that contains both of them, and it would be this one again, right? So parallel lines, even if they are on different planes, are not skew lines, okay? What I would have to do here is change the direction of one of these lines, so let's change Y. Okay, so as you can see, V and Y, they are no longer parallel, right? They're in two completely different directions, and they're also on different planes, right? So they definitely don't intersect, because even if I brought this plane back, right, like this, as you can see, V still lies directly on this orange plane right here, but Y runs through it, right? So they're not on the same plane. They're on two completely different planes. All right, now let's talk about perpendicular lines and planes and a little bit more about skew lines. All right, so first of all, two lines are perpendicular, okay, when they intersect and form a right angle. And you can always tell it's a right angle because there's this little square thing attached to it, right? So then here we could say that these two lines right here, so lines EG, so we'll say line EG is perpendicular, okay? That's the symbol for perpendicular to this line over here, FH, right? So FH, right? So these two lines right here are perpendicular, all right? So just like lines can be perpendicular, so can planes, all right? So you can see these two planes right here, P and Q, are perpendicular, right? 
plane P right here is completely vertical and plane Q right here is completely horizontal. And again, you can see that there's a little right angle symbol attached to it, all right? So that's the other way you can tell these two planes are perpendicular. Okay, so now let's talk about skew lines once again, all right? So let's say I drew a line that lies on plane Q like this, and then let's say we have this red line right here, right, represented by L right here. Let's say we have that line right there. Okay, so are these two lines, this pink one and the red one, are they skew lines? Well, in this case, they would be, okay, because they're on two completely different planes and they run in two different directions. Okay, now let's just go over this example really quick where we're gonna be using this cube to answer some questions, all right? So in this first part, it says lines that are parallel to line AE. Well, first of all, AE is right here, okay? So lines that are parallel to AE, again, would be on the same plane, right? So this one right here, DH, that's on the same plane as AE, right, on this top plane. Uh, BF down here is also on the same plane as AE, right, this plane on the side, basically the side of the box. And what about CG right here? Would this line right here be parallel to AE? Well, initially, it doesn't look like it, right? It looks like they're on two completely different planes. But again, there is a way to draw it so that they do lie on the same plane. Okay, so we could introduce a plane that looks something like that-ish. Yeah, that's about good. Okay, so then in this case, you can see that there is a plane that exists that does contain AE and CG. Okay, so then in that case, we can say that those lines are also parallel. Okay, and remember the other way we can show this is by drawing arrows on all these lines right here. Okay, so those are all parallel. So we would say that the lines parallel to AE would be DH, BF, and CG. And we'll also put all our arrows on here because we're super fancy. Okay, next one says, what are the lines that are perpendicular to line AE? So this is line AE right here. So lines that would be perpendicular with line AE would be lines that form right angles or 90 degree angles with AE. So that would be this one right here, right, AD. It would also be this one over here, EH, right? Both of these hit AE at a 90 degree angle, right? So this is a 90 degree angle and this is a 90 degree angle. The other ones would be AB, right? So AB hits this line over here at a 90 degree angle. And this back one over here also hits AE at a 90 degree angle, right? So this is FE. So those make 90 degrees also. Okay, so there's four lines that are perpendicular with AE. AD, EH, B, A, F, E. All right, now next one says, what lines are skewed to line AE? Okay, so what lines are skewed to AE? Well, first, let's rule some stuff out, okay? So skew lines, remember, are on different planes, right? So first of all, let's rule out all the lines that are on the same plane as AE over here, okay? Well, the lines on the same plane as AE would be, uh, well, basically, all the lines on top, right? This creates one whole plane with AE, and this one on the side, right? This plane on the side also makes a plane with this line right here, AE. Okay, so we can automatically rule any of those lines out. Okay, the other thing we can rule out are parallel lines, okay? So what lines are parallel to AE right here? Well, again, it'd be DH, it'd be BF, and it would also be CG. Okay, so what lines do we have left? Well, we have this one back here, right, FG. We have this one over here, BC. We also have these two vertical lines, right, DC and HG, right? So those lines are skew to AE. Okay, so let's break this down. So AE, let's figure out why these are all skew. AE runs in this direction right here, right? Now, as you can see, FG and BC, they are not on the same plane as AE, right? And they also run in a completely different direction, right? BC runs in this direction, and FG also runs in this exact same direction, right? Because these two lines right here are parallel. So these are definitely skew with AE, okay? And then CD and HG over here, these also run in a different direction as AE, right? These run vertically. 
So these are also not on the same plane. Okay, so the lines that are skew would be BC, FG, CD, and HG. All right, now let's do these last two right here. So what planes are parallel to BCG? Okay, well, let's see. BCG is this bottom plane down here, right? BCG. Okay, so that's this bottom plane. So the only plane parallel to this bottom plane or this bottom part of the box would be the top part of the box, right? A, E, H, D. Right, so A, E, H, D. All right. Now, what planes are perpendicular to BCG? Well, in this case, it would be basically every other side of the box, right? So this vertical side, right, A, B, F, E, right, this vertical side is perpendicular to the bottom one. This front face of the box or the cube is also vertical, right? So that's perpendicular to this bottom part. This other side of the box, D, H, G, C, is also perpendicular. And the back side of the box, right, E, H, G, F, all right? All these four sides, all these four planes are vertical, okay? So there's four planes that are perpendicular. So again, those would be A, B, F, E, A, B, C, D, C, D, H, G, and E, H, F, G. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.